Baby Elephant Boutique Hotel, see them reap. So we've just got a couple of nights here because it's uh, Tanya's birthday and um, we thought we'd have a little bit of luxury and it's really quite nice. And uh, Tanya wanted to stay here, so here we are. And it is luxury, it's nice. You know, it's a nice room. Got mini bar, safe, TV. Oh, massive air con, it's quite cold in here. Nice couch. Kettle, tea making facilities. Everything you'd expect. Decent. Quite cool. Done out bathroom. Yeah. So look, so it's in the mini bar. Hey, oh, we've got some wine in. Oh, that'll that'll keep Tanya happy later. Some wine in the fridge. A couple of bags of crisps. Excellent. Cool. Let's go and have a look outside. What do we get outside? Quickly, quickly to the outside world. I'll take the key. So we're up on the top floor, and uh, we've got a nice balcony. I reckon that'd be good for having a couple of beers later. Got some yoga mats for doing some yoga. And let's have a look around. Oh, crocodile farm. There we go. Right next to a crocodile farm. Very strange. Out overlooking the rooftops of Sea and Reap. You get an idea for you know, what Seam Reap's like. This isn't Pub Street, this is a little way out from the centre. It's quite chilled out and relaxed. It's, so it's still only a five minute walk into the town centre from here. But you can see that it's not right in the heart. Not, not completely right in the middle of Seam Reap. It's just, just far enough out for it to be nice and close enough for it to be convenient. So let's have a look, what else do we do? Let's have a look down the stairs. This is the second floor. Decent kitchen, looks really tidy, really clean, which is nice. It's nice to be able to see into the kitchen sometimes, it gives that little bit of confidence, doesn't it? So, into the reception area. There we go, a quick pan. Oh, I should do that slowly, sorry, otherwise, you get dizzy. Now we can have a quick look at the pool. Yeah, so we've got a nice, nice boutique style, sized pool there, and a nice little restaurant. Oh, we've got some more guests here. Hello, Tanya. Yeah, so there we go. Let's have a look at the menu. A la carte menu, steak sandwich for 7 50 Let's have a quick pan down here. Oh, desserts and sweet treats, nice. Wine list, very important that. Beers. Oh, Guinness can, $3, wow. Cocktails there. They do a happy hour between 5.30 and 7.30. Breakfast as well in the morning. I think they said between 7.30 or 8 and 10 or something like that. I wasn't really listening to be honest, but I'll be up for it at some point. A la carte menu. Oh wow. And well, then even more on the back here. Look at this. This is pretty good.
Yeah, so we got meals starting from around five bucks. Which is quite good, isn't it? Five bucks, six bucks. Tofu lock lack, five dollars. There we go. Crispy chicken wings, five fifty. Yeah, I'll be having those later. I love a bit of chicken. Yeah. Right, there's more to Baby Elf Boutique than it first appears. Okay. So you've seen the first impressions with the room and the reception, but actually it's got two wings. There's two completely different buildings. And this is the, you can see the sign through the trees there. You can't see the sign through the trees because I'm too far away. Let me move closer. So the bit that you've seen already is the east wing, okay? So this, this is the east wing. And this is obviously then, the, by default, must be the west wing. Okay? And the, the west wing has got a different feel to it. The west wing is um, it's got a co-working space in the front of it with two artists working out of it and at the moment oh they're not here at the moment but at the moment we've so we've got a silversmith that works out of this space here's some more co-working space and we've got an artist uh, Tamara Venn working out of this area here and this building is the more value for money rooms if you like and that is that is used a lot by NGOs and other organizations to accommodate their staff and also budget travelers as well and I presume long long stay budget travelers and it's really cool it's really nice and other things that I didn't know that I didn't know was that also they do cookery classes which is what we're halfway through now just making dessert um, and I might put the video of the cookery class either end of this video or I might do a separate video for it so look for a link here for the separate video which I think I will do that thinking about it and out the back um, round there is organic garden area where they grow some of their own produce and here we've got the Lemongrass Garden Spa, which offers a range of therapies and massage and things like that. So, and a kind of Nepali prayer flag kind of thing going on here as well, which I like, so I like Nepal. So yeah, so there we go. It's cool, right? Um, it's got a lot of social enterprise stuff coming up and ongoing. And like I say, there's more to it than first meets the eye. Certainly a lot more going on here than what I knew about. Oh, we finished dessert. I'd better go and eat it, I suppose. And bicycle hire as well, of course, which is super cool. And I think the bicycles go out for $2 a day. So it's got some co-working space. It's got some um, value accommodation for NGO staff. Um, it's got two in-house artists working out of the co-working space at the moment with room for more people. Um, it's slightly away from the hustle and bustle of the town centre. It's down a nice quiet little side road but you only have to go to the end of this road here and turn that way and 
you're on a road with pretty much everything that you need shop wise so you're not a million miles away from everything but far far enough away for it to be quite quite quiet if you like so there we go baby elephant boutique i'm gonna go and eat the dessert now um yeah decent as they say they also do a whole host of different tours and some of the tours include obviously the temples obviously the temples you know you can't come to see them reap and not see the temples West Beret, Silk Farm that's, that's a West Mebon or West Beret that's Big Lake out near the temples, big reservoir, it's really cool. Ruler's group of temples, yeah, I mean, all sorts. Bante Stray, Cobble Spine, Bante Stray Landmine Museum, all that way, it's all good. Um, countryside Tour, which is always worth having a look at. And Phnom Bok, Bante Stray, yeah, decent, you know. Um, relatively relatively competitively priced as well, you know, good prices on here. So, if you're going to come and stay at Baby Elephant Boutique, book your tours through these guys. Book your tours in-house. They're value for money. They also do, of course, massage and spa in the uh, in-house spa room at the back. So they do traditional Khmer massage, foot head massage, oil massage, forehand massage, Kids massage, body scrub and polish, facial treatments, nail service, waxing, all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff there. And again, looking at the prices, now I'm not, I, I don't, I don't really use these kind of massage and spa things myself too often. But yeah, come here, massage. 15 bucks for 60 minutes. Pretty good, you know. I, I'm not into the, I, I just have a general massage, oil and things that's that's more for ladies isn't it i think i don't know but anyway yeah competitively priced there as well so yeah good 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 things to do while staying baby elephant boutique cool well, that's nice chilled out anyway, yeah so it's andy here for going nomad aka picks on bikes uh, like share and subscribe and don't forget to email me at going nomad123 gmail.com <laughs>